In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have made all those reborn in Christ a chosen race and a royal priesthood, grant as we pray the grace to will and to do what you command, that the people called to eternal life may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, I will take the children of Israel from among the nations to which they have come and gather them from all sides to bring them back to their land. I will make them one nation upon the land in the mountains of Israel, and there shall be one prince for them all. Never again there shall be two nations, and never again shall they be divided into two kingdoms. No longer shall they defile themselves with their idols, their abominations, and all their transgressions, I will deliver them from all their sins of apostasy and cleanse them so that they may be my people and I may be their God. My servant David shall be prince over them and there shall be one shepherd for them all and they shall be leave my statutes and carefully observe my decrees. They shall live on the land that I gave to my servant Jacob. The land where their fathers lived, they shall live on it forever. They and their children and their children's children with my servant David, their prince forever. I will make with them a covenant of peace it shall be an everlasting covenant with them. And I will multiply them and put my sanctuary among them forever. My dwelling shall be with them. I will be their God and there shall be my people. Thus the nations shall know it is I, the Lord, who make Israel holy when my sanctuary shall be set up among them forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flocks. Hear the word of the, hear the, word of the Lord, O nations, Proclaim it on distant isles and say, He who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror, shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessings. The grain, the wine, and the oil, the sheep, 
and the oxen. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Then the virgins shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Be standing. Cast away from you all the crimes you have committed, says the Lord, and make for yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. Glory to you, Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Many of the Jews who had come to Mary and seen what Jesus had done began to believe in Him. But some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what Jesus had done. So the chief priests and the Pharisees convened the Sanhedrin and said what are we going to do this man is performing many signs if we leave him alone all will believe in him and the Romans will come and take away both our land and our nation but one of them Caiaphas who was high priest that year said to them you know nothing nor do you consider that it is better for you that one man should die instead of the people, so that the whole nation may not perish. He did not say this on his own, but since he was high priest for that year, he prophesied that Jesus was going to die for the nation, and not only for the nation, but also to gather into one the dispersed children of God. So from that day on, they planned to kill him. So Jesus no longer walked about in public among the Jews, but he left for the region near the desert to a town called Ephraim. And there he remained with his disciples. Now the Passover of the Jews was near, and many went out from the country to Jerusalem before Passover to purify themselves they looked for Jesus and said to one another as they were in the temple area what do you think that he will not come to the feast my dear friends the gospel of the Lord praise to you Lord Jesus Christ please be seated Marahil, marami dito na nasa visa ngayon o nakikinig online eh, sanay nang magplano sanay nang magplano ng gagawin nila araw-araw marahil dito may mga iba kung wala siguro uh, mga lockdown mga quarantine eh, nagpaplano na na mag summer outing marahil nga siguro yung iba dito Uh, namimiss na yung mga ginagawa nila dati, no? nagpupunta sa beach, nagpupunta sa Boracay, o naga out of the country. Tayo, likas tayo magplano, no? Uh, it is uh, already probably part and parcel siguro ng uh, uh, buhay natin para naman hindi disorganize, para naman maging productive tayo. Para rin naman siguro eh, mayroon tayong magawa. Pero itong pagpaplano, by experience ko rin sa buhay ko na madalas plano ko ng plano, hindi na kakatotoo. Sometimes there are detours na nangyayari. I guess na-experience nyo na rin yun. 
And sometimes, pag hindi nangyayari yung mga pinaplano natin sa buhay, masakit. At nagkikwestiyon tayo sa Panginoon, bakit? Dinasal ko naman to. Naging mabuti naman ako. Bakit hindi mo ipagkaloob itong mga plans ko sa buhay? Mga gusto kong mangyari. I guess, maybe someone here can relate to that. And, uh, you know, reflecting on the gospel for today, parang ganun eh, parang ganun ang dating sa akin ng, ng gospel natin ngayon. It is uh, two contrasting uh, methods na ipinapakita sa atin dito. The plan of man versus the plan of God. Dito nakita natin na even if uh, uh, nandiyan na yung uh, mga himala, yung mga pagbuhay ni kay Lazarus, mga ginawang mabubuti ni Jesus, si Caiaphas, eh gusto pa rin niyang patayin si Jesus. Not, not only because of envy, but because uh, his plan was to protect their place because baka magalit yung mga Romano at mas marami pang mamatay. Pero the plan of God was completely different. He was not thinking more of himself, si Jesus, but he was thinking more of the many people. That's the reason why itong gospel na to, prepare din tayo sa celebration ng Holy Week. Because ito yung magi, parang magiging senyalis na ang Panginoon, uh, I have greater plans for you. Because I don't just want you to live in sin, but I want to free you from sin. I want you to experience a resurrected life. A life free from worries, a life free from burdens, a life free from darkness, ibibigay ko sa iyo ito, katumbas ng buhay ko, katumbas ng dugo ko. Ito yung plano ng Diyos. As we go along in this Holy Week, and we plan, yeah, I know, maganda rin pagmunimunihan natin, no? Sa season na prepare na tayo, bukas, Palm Sunday na. Ano ba? ang plano ng Diyos sa akin this Holy Week. Hindi yung ano ba ang plano ko nangyayari this Holy Week. Pero maganda rin tingnan, ano ba ang plano ng Diyos sa akin, sa buhay ko this Holy Week. Paano ko ba may experience ang Panginoon? Paano ko ba makikita kung ano ba talaga ang totoong plano niya? So that I myself can also experience the resurrection of Christ in my life. Please all stand. Let us pray to God our Father that we may have the courage of Christ to face life and its difficulties, even death, for the sake of His life and growth for ourselves and for others. For every petition, we will answer, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That non-Christians may come to know Jesus who died for all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That separated Christians may show greater commitment to ecumenism. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those in authority may commit themselves to the service of truth and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that all Catholics may have a special sense of belonging to each other through their common faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That mothers who lose their child may not be crushed by the weight of their problems. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we also pray for our personal intentions, and the intentions of this Mass.
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God our Father, who by drawing the faithful together has made them one body of Christ, send your Holy Spirit to draw your people into closer bond with each other. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the divine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the gifts we offer from our fasting be acceptable to you, O Lord, we pray. And as an expiation for our sins, may they make us worthy of your grace and lead us to what you promise for eternity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting, you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through Him the angels praise Your Majesty, the minions adore and powers tremble before You. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim, Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. 
We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray to partake of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. Announcement. The Summer Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on April 21, April 21, 2021, third Wednesday of Easter. Novena Masses will begin on April 12 until April 20, 2021. The schedule of Masses will be at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m. and will be streamed live through the social media platforms of the Minor Basilica and via, Mana and via Manawag Dominican Radio 102.7 FM. We cordially invite you to participate in the Feast and the Novena Masses. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses during this Feast and Novena, you may approach our Basilica personnel in the religious stores and mass intention counters or visit our website manawagbasilica.org or FB page Minor Basilica Manawag Official. Thank you. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. May these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.